Right, on our travels for some camping at New Year, and where are we going to? Um, we're going to Sandy Lane Farm. Where's that? Near something Kid Kinnerton? Something Kinnerton? Yeah, other side of Chester, North Wales border. Okay, okay, about a 50 minute drive roughly. Let's hit the road. So, we're staying at Sandy Lane Farm over New Year 2019, well 2018, no, 19 going on 20 um, and we're on a lovely day. So to find the campsite, this is Sandy Lane, so you would come down that direction and if you walk up here and take the road on the left called, is it Bennett's Lane? Mm -hmm. Where does that lead to, Sandra? The nearest pub. And what are they called? The Swan Inn. And hey? so there's a shop, um, a general store, Both. and then there's a pub called the Swan Inn. Post office. Kind of yeah, um, that's more of a sporty type bar, wasn't it? And it's got like a bit of a restaurant in the back with very reasonably priced food. And then just up the road, there's the Royal Oak. We we ate there, didn't we? We did. That was pretty good, wasn't it? It was excellent, actually. Yeah. So considering we've had torrential rain um, for months we've actually got a nice day so when you come in to the campsite it's wall to wall blue sky, look at it. it is wall to wall blue sky not found to be seen you can park up here and i will link in a minute another video we did in the car opening up the gate you would normally call the farmer to let him know you're here yeah or you could call the farmer to let him know you're here but we did that because we were a bit nervous about getting our caravan onto the pitch so sandra's gonna open the gate uh, make sure that you remember to open the gate inwards, not outwards. Uh, there you go. Yeah, okay. So open, open the gate that way. And then be sure to close the gate up after yourself. So you are on a working farm, so bear that in mind. So down this road here, it leads to a quarry, which is very, very muddy. And the center says on the right, um, it's a bit of a sheep field, is another footpath. Now we've not actually walked up here, but that footpath also leads into the village. And I'd guess it's only a five, maybe 10 minute walk into uh, to the pub and the shop. And say. It was very muddy when we arrived. So on, it's very bright, so there's um, a pony and some sheep and up you come. Blackbird's about isn't there? So Sandra says we actually contacted the farmer because we were a bit nervous about um, putting our car onto this field in case we got stuck. So what we actually did was unhick the caravan and we pulled it on via a motor mover because there had been something stuck here in the past but the farmer has got a tractor. So we'll have a walk up here in a bit, uh, show you the path but it's very muddy down there. I think you mean a tractor that can tow your van if needed. Yeah, tow you in or tow you out. So as I say, it is um, right at the end of the December 2019. So there's our caravan, the Adria. And it's a beautiful mini meadow. It's probably the best way to describe it. Um, there's our hookups, our own picnic bench, and trees and everything's bare because we're in the middle of winter. And there are hookups all around. Now this is a caravan and motorhome site, a CL site. So technically, it should only be five vans, but I'm guessing there's two, six, ten, there's a dozen hookups on here, but it's plenty of space. Okay, so let's go and have a look at some facilities we've got.
a very heavy dew last night and there must have been a frost because there's um it was sub-zero and a very clear sky and lots of ice this morning so down in this bottom corner you've got your fresh water and again you're into this uh pony field there's a bird feeder bird bath water so if you go that bit, that's where you reset the electric. Yes, uh, yeah, the farmer did say that, yeah. So if the electrics completely go, there is um, a full reset in this box here. Um, so that's your consumer unit. And your Elson point. This bench is enveloping into the ground. Lost a leg. Yeah, sure. So this is your Elson point here. So I'm not going to li li uh, lift up and show you, but it's uh, actually a cesspit um, for you to go in, and you've got fresh water to rinse out your cassette toilet. So yeah, that bits of frost still on the floor. Uh, lots of random little animals everywhere. There's a little meerkat. Um, okay, so we have recycling, and this is the toilet and shower facility. White switches outside here, and inside it's pretty basic, but it does the job. So there is your shower. And toilet, loo roll, make sure you bring some loo roll just in case. Some cosmetics, bench to sit down, and coat hanger. Okay, well we got we bought some anyway. And this is a private area, so this is obviously partly a farmhouse, um, a little pond and garden. I'm just going to have a walk up towards the quarry and come back in a moment on that one. So, about walking down the track to where the quarry is. So technically speaking, your public footpath is actually this side of the fence. And as I say, this is very, uh, very waterlogged. It has rained almost all stop since August. Though. So, just trying to explain to Sandra, so the farmer did advise us that we could come into this bottom end and to get to it I would have had to have driven through here which I declined the kind offer. The farmer said this is all stone and so I wouldn't get stuck and if I'd wanted to, and he did promise me I would not get stuck but I did not take the risk. I mean, in summer or better weather you can come into this part of the campsite um, which is pretty pristine, but I would not want it to take my van through. through there. I think that was a wise move, don't you? Yeah, so it's, it's normally drains quickly because it's sandy, being mm. a sandy lane. There's a killer cat behind you, hunting. Um, but it's just it has been exceptionally wet, so it's not normally this wet. Mm, I'm not too sure, I've never been before, so I can't really comment well, on the that. The farmer assures me that, I say it's yeah. sandy, so it should normally drain pretty quickly. So. Okay, so as I say, so there is a quarry here i'm not too sure what it's quarry into quite true i'm not going to go into it um whether it's earth or some sort i'm not really too sure in fact it's going up a bit of a nosy and this is walking down into the quarry i'm not exactly too sure what the quarry whether it is some kind of sand soil or some sort or some sort of a working quarry Okay, back out again. Let's say that's the style on the other side there. There's a little lift so you can put your dog under the style. Um, nice and easy. 
and then that is the footpath to the village which is probably literally five minutes and another sheep field you can see the houses just there yeah I'm gonna say it's not far so would you say if, to walk to the village down the road where we say it's 15 minute maybe 20 minute walk maximum by the road yeah, yeah maybe 15 minutes 15 minutes Get long around. Uh, a lot of buzzards about and finch. yeah finch yellow tip and we've just seen a couple of um buzzards or red kites possibly up in the sky Walk back this way and get the mud off me mud off me wellies. So as I say, in uh, in better weather, I'd say that ground is meant to be very stony, so you shouldn't get stuck towing on. So this top bank is um, is by the quarry on my right as you're viewing this. And there's a sign a bit more details. So as I say, there is um, electrical cups all over, so you've got loads of space and several picnic benches and a little woodland and just another grazing field and you're less than a 10 minute drive from a big Shopping complex called Broughton as well, so that's got um, a Macadese, there's a Flaming Grill if you want something to eat, uh, and a whole range of shops from Primark to I can't remember what else we saw to be honest. There's a Pizza Express, there's a Nando's, there's also. Yeah, the usual crap when you get a cinema complex. Oh, these are singles, not doubles, that's uh, yeah. So there's a two, a three, a four, yeah, so it could be a 5CL site. So stand corrected from my point earlier. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Right, so as you drive out of the campsite, you come onto this road, and there is a quarry down there, and a path to the pub. And there's a sheep field, and down we come. When you come to the gate, which is closed, it opens outwards. Someone's uh, going to go and open the gate for me. Are you going to open the gate, Sandra? Marvellous. Oh, go, go, go. And there we are. Okay. Cooking bacon, Sandra. You sleep, o sleep okay last night? Can't be cooking bacon now. It looks like you're cooking bacon. Yeah, but I can't see I never cook. Oh, you're very rare, you cook. Okay. Oh, there we are. Oh. Bacon and egg. Very good. Well done. Thank you. Sausages are properly cooked. Yeah. Nope. Looking good. I know you hate doing this. Just try a tiny bit of mash. A little bit of a mash, go on then. Just to know where they are. Have a little yeah. bit. 